motion layers allow you to manipulate a bone with multiple keyframes. While this is helpful, it can get clustered quickly when trying to animate multiple bones. This is where motion clips come in, how they work. Motion clips act like their own separate motions. In order to create one, press the yellow motion clip icon. A motion clip should appear at the current frame. As soon as the frame count reaches the motion clip, the animation format will be layered on top of the normal keyframes until the motion clip ends. Each motion clip starts at a certain frame and has a frame length. To change the position or length of a motion clip, click and drag either the body or the right edge of the motion clip. Hold shift to snap move them with each frame. You can also do this by selecting the motion clip and manually typing in the start and length. There's also the option to set the length to infinite. In addition to that, a motion clip can be set to repeat itself like a loop. You can loop them a certain amount of times or endlessly. Motion clips are placed on so-called tracks. There, they can be placed one after another. It is also possible to create multiple tracks and layer motion clips on top of each other. Simply press on the add track icon and then add a motion clip like before. You can also delete tracks, but keep in mind that every motion clip inside of it will be deleted too. Each motion clip is made up of keyframes like a normal motion, but can also have other tracks containing motion clips. In order to enter and edit a motion clip, click on the yellow icon inside the motion clip. You can start nesting them by placing motion clips inside of motion clips. Once you are done with the motion clip, you you can exit by pressing the yellow icon on the left. Here you can also see the current depth of the nesting. Uses. Here are a few examples on how motion clips can be used. Separate. When creating an animation with multiple scenes, you can create a motion clip for each scene. This way you can work on each scene individually and not worry about the previous keyframes influencing your current animation. This also has the advantage of being able to change the length of any motion clip without having to mess around with the other scenes too much. Copy and paste. Sometimes dancers have repeating sections, especially around refrains. Instead of copy pasting all those keyframes, you can copy and paste motion clips the same way as keyframes. Select your motion clip, press Ctrl C to copy, go to the desired frame count and press Ctrl V to paste. You can also import motions as motion clips by pressing the import icon. Loops. There are times where you want a motion to repeat itself, like a breathing animation. Normally, you would have to copy and paste the keyframes, but you can also put the motion inside of a motion clip and let it loop. Select the motion clip, set the length of the loop and set repeat to endless. Just make sure the start and end keyframes of the looping motion are the same in order to make it loop seamlessly. This also makes it possible to edit the loop in comparison to having to replace all the keyframes normally. Layering. Sometimes you may want to make more complex animations, like a character looking around while still breathing. In this case, it would be better to use two motion clips. One for the breathing animation as a loop and the other for looking around. Then, simply use two tracks to layer the motions on top of each other. Adjustment. Instead of using multiple tracks, you could also nest them into each other. This is more fitting when two animations can't be separated easily or you want to give a loop changing positions. To do this, create a motion clip, go into it and create another motion clip inside of it. On the left side, you can see how deep you currently are and jump out all the way to the top. Something important to mention is that when nesting, changes aren't accurately represented until moving the frame. This makes it a bit annoying to use, so keep that in mind. Whether you want to use nesting or multi-tracks depends on what feels easier for you. Using both is also a good option in some cases. Time shift. Motion clips also have a little icon that looks like a clock. By clicking on it, a new window will appear that looks similar to the interpolation curve. This is the time shift graph. It works similar to the interpolation curve. By dragging the two handle points, you can change how the animation is played. It is a lot more difficult to use than the interpolation curve, since you mess around with the timings of a whole animation. What is interesting, however, is that in contrast to the interpolation curve, you can reverse the whole line. This allows you to play the whole animation backwards, which might be useful in some cases where a loop looks better that way. Other than that, I wouldn't play with this feature too much. Outro. Motion clips are a very useful tool, but it's also very hard to wrap your head around it, like motions layered on top of motions or nesting them inside each other. It will definitely take time to get the hang of it, but once you do, it is a very rewarding tool to use.